Rainforest.com. Yellow duckies and welcome to World's Dawn. My name's Viola. Uh, let's start our day off how we normally start our day off. We gotta feed our pets, drink some ginger, and check out what's up here. The toaster oven. We, we don't think we can afford to now. We can't. Not yet. Uh, Congrats to Bloom, who discovered his first sage glop while digging yesterday and answered the creature correctly. Nice! Uh, experiencing light rains throughout the afternoon, that means that our garden will be watered! Oh! Morning, Viola. I should have known you would get yourself involved in Noah's old trading game. I've been wearing that lucky pin since you gave it to me and I've brought you something in return. There you are. Oh, I know exactly who wants that. It's a high quality brush from a very distant land. I'm sure you'll find somebody to take it off your hands. Yes, yes, I know just the person. Alright, so I did spend a little bit of time- oh, that's a lot at all. Um, I did spend a little bit of time, uh, off camera. Ooh, tomatoes good. Uh, getting a little bit of money, as you saw there. I was mining, and apparently it does not matter that much. <laughs> okay, so we got juicy tomatoes. If we're so... Three of those. We don't want to run in the rain. We do need to fish some more because we're running low on fish. And we also most likely should grab some more dog food for Prince at some point. But right now, the lowest we're on is fish, so that's, you know, a thing. Drops. And I know fishing isn't exactly the, the most entertaining in this game, but I want to catch at least a few here. So don't want to use all our time. Fishy, fishy. Oh, too short. Too far. There we go. Store should be open. Oh, first things first. That boy Boom follows me around sometimes. Why would always apologize? Apologizes, but I don't mind. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, eleven. Okay, so that means we can fish once more. Oh, right. It was right on time, but it was it was right on length, but not on timing. There we go. All right, so it's either going to be uh, the woman who runs the art or her husband, but I'm pretty sure she's the artist, and he is. Sure. Hey. <laughs> Let's see if maybe she's upstairs. No, she's not. Hmm. Huh. 
Well, this complicates things. Ooh. I don't want to run too much. Let's check the church. We'll check the... the quarters. One of ten charm fairies. The bright and serrated bunch. Yes, it does. Share charms. Sarah, Zachary, or Amber. Amber's the one that we're looking for right now. Um. Sparrow. Right. So that boosts my friendship, I believe, with Sparrow. Um, but I need to find Amber. I'm not sure where she'd be. But obviously, general store isn't open for getting more dog food because Mono and, and Alexander were both there. Hmm. Well, yes, yes. Do I need to find Amber? Yes. She hang out. It's times like this I kind of wish that I I had the guide for this game because it would give me a better idea of. Who's where and at what time now? In different weathers, even. Maybe you're in the kitchen, maybe you're in the window. But. Hmm. Okay, so she's obviously not out this way. Down here. Hmm. Over this way. We're still trying to save up money so that we can finish donating um, to get the first few people back. Counters, so that'll give us a bit more money. Then I may be able to find Amber at the bar. Or tavern. Oh, sorry about that noise, guys. If it picked up on the microphone, I... Every so often, there's, there's people that go just speeding around the corner here, and one of these days, they're not going to be so lucky. We've already heard a couple of times when they weren't. Okay, here we are. Beautiful, are you getting that penis? <laughs> Never had a brush with such fine bristles. I'll find it if you pay back, yeah? <laughs> I talk to everybody so that we can build up our relationships here. 
Just to kind of cycle the the supplies that Pascal, Axel, Pascal, Hazel. <laughs> I'm still not sure how to pronounce his name. I, I I'm saying Pascal because lately I've been playing um, Animal Crossing, and I go in every day and I'm doing the scallop search. To get all the mermaid recipes from Pascal the Otter. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I keep saying Pascal instead of Paxel or however his name is pronounced. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's going to be oh nope, it's important. Who do we get to meet this time? Is a snack! Do not worry of my appearance. I am Jade, one of the five nature spirits who watch over the village. Respect for nature is my virtue. My sister Chloe has spoken of you told me the spirit of Noah has returned to this town in the form of an impassioned young farmer. Already you are starving from a deep slumber. You have been being growing been growing many wonderful kinds of fruit and vegetables in your dusty patch of dirt. Such devotion to the soil gives me heart. Not every mortal is willing to toil in the dirt, too dirty those delicate hands and in doing so, connect with the natural world. There is not yet enough. There are still seeds you must sow. If you were to grow and harvest four more unique types of crops, I would accept your resolve. Prove your respect for nature through this task, and I will lend you my magic. Find peace in the soil until next we meet. Like, I would love to start adding in the animals. I haven't even played around with the animals before, but at the same time, I can't afford to feed them. So, there's no point in me doing that yet. Violet offers a reminder that when you pick wild flowers from the ground, do so as a stem. That way they can regrow for others to enjoy. Village life. This book will be talking about how to treat your fellow villagers and the best way to make friends here in town. Everyone in Sugar Blossom Village is very friendly and always happy to chat. Generally, folks are open to receiving their favorite gifts whenever you're feeling generous. Helping out your neighbors by doing part time work at local shops is a great way to make friends as well. Don't forget to smile and see you next week. And yeah, it's gonna be sunny out today. So let's. Feed. Oh, okay. First, Prince's big bowl, and then Ginger's little bowl. Oh, leaving already. Good morning. I came by to bid you a fond farewell as I'm leaving town today. Make sure you keep up the. Keep working hard on that old farm while I'm gone. I want to see a lot of progress when I return to Sugar Blossom, and remember your quest for the Feral Shades. The more you uncover the mysteries they keep, the better off this village will be. Take care of yourself, Iola. I'll see you in a few short weeks. Let's see how much those tomatoes gave us. 120, so it's about 40 each for tomatoes. 
It's not terrible. So we'll see how much the corn sells for tomorrow. Because um, I, I do want to see like what's our best bet as far as funds and I am, am trying to do it without looking a whole lot up guys um Step you don't want to do it like this. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Favorite feeling is when someone tries a new dish for the first time and their eyes just get up. And let's see. For four hours. And we can go down here and help out in the bakery. Was it another thousand or something? I couldn't, I can't remember. Let me go see if the town hall is still open. Although I really should. No. A way of seeing. No going back from that now, so... What's that? You know, we do have... Um, an event upcoming, the, the Spring Market upcoming, which... I should have probably saved for it, but I... Tiny bit incoming. Sun again? No, oh, it is danger. You're in the way. <sighs> Try 
know what you need to get more up. I want some food. Kitchen pasta primavera. That's the first market event of summer. I know. He's gonna tell me no. And by to remind you that tomorrow is market day. <laughs> Hundred and two, but I'm not sure how much of that was actually from. Ooh, yay, melons! So I ended up actually going and doing some research. Um, I don't know if it's open yet. Um, but by comparison, price-wise and such, I should most likely um, plant a bunch of juicy tomatoes and water those and raise those. And that will be the best bet as far as funds are going, you know. And this will be the last thing we do in this episode. Go ahead and do the little eye. Let's see. And by fifteen, because we have some money coming in from the watermelons, but. We don't really have a lot that's going to be going towards the market in our next play. Next Saturday. So. Oh, and come to find that Clint also loves juicy tomatoes, so that is a plus. So that is actually going to be it for today guys, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos, and remember to create the feral wildflower in you. Bye bye!